we think First Friday is like the most Americana vibe. Oh, no. <laughs> Richard and Jenny Shasho are now home. probably 15 years ago when we first talked about it and we were in the process of talking about kids and marriage. Originally from Minneapolis, this family moved to Bentonville about six years ago for work. Two years later, this duo embarked on a new journey that would shape their family forever. And when we moved down to Bentonville, uh, Walmart actually had a really big foster care awareness event and they had all of the local nonprofits come into the cafeteria. We went to an informational meeting and the rest is history. I think we were open within six months. With the help of local organizations like The Call, this couple and their three kids have provided temporary housing for countless foster children, including nine in long-term placement. The most important part of fostering is you're saying yes to the unknown. You don't know what you're you're walking into and you have to have faith that it's gonna work out and you ask for help when you need to. That was a big adjustment for us, but um, it's definitely been a blessing for our family. In Arkansas on any given day, nearly 4,000 kids are in the foster care system, but only 1,400 homes are open, meaning there are simply not enough beds for kids in need. I have spoken to so many people who say, I just don't know if I'm ready. Like, I, I feel called to this, but I don't know if, if we have what it takes. You have what it takes. It's the ability to have space for the child. You have a, an extra bed. Can you get an extra bed? Um, but your heart grows. And so I would say nobody's ever fully ready and prepared, but it's, it's saying yes to the unknown. The kids that come into your home need you to attach. They need to be loved so fiercely and so deeply. This Bentonville family with a passion for kids knows that more goodbyes are certainly on the way. But the hope is that despite the time a child spends inside their house, the impact felt will last a lifetime. We have a philosophy at home is that when we do um, close a chapter on a case, we always take a couple weeks as a, as a family. My husband and I talk to our kids and say, what did we do well? What did we do very poorly? And what could we do differently next time? And then before we take new kids into the home, we sit down and say, are you ready? We love it, our kids love it. We kind of say they're brothers and sisters for life. 